Hello everybody, welcome back here to franktortorici.com. Uh, today I'm going to touch on uh, raw kefir. Uh, raw kefir has been around for God since the late 1800s, originated in Russia. And basically kefir is a probiotic drink. You can find it at a lot of health food stores. Um, but here's the deal, there's, there's tons of kefir products that you can find at Whole Foods and different types of stores. Uh, yogurt is, is known as a uh, kefir-esque type of a food. Uh, but the thing is, is in 99.9% .9 of the stores that you go to, all of the kefir is in fact uh, pasteurized. So if you live in California, uh, there's good news. Um, basically, we are able to get and consume raw milk here. And here is a company, and I've mentioned them before, Organic Pastures. This is their raw uh, kefir. Now, if you don't live in California, you, have, you do have options. Um, you could probably find raw coconut kefir at health food stores. And if you can't find that, the easiest thing to do is to just uh, purchase uh, a probiotic starter kit. You can get the powder. It's in, it's in a packet form. And you can just get your coconut water. Or if you're able to access raw milk, uh, then dump it in there, leave it covered, let it sit for a couple of days, and the fermentation process uh, takes its effect. Now, when the the milk, whether it be the coconut or the uh, the raw dairy, when it goes through the fermentation process, it's obviously again developing healthy bacteria. Um, now, the beauty of it is is when a lot of theories is that when you're consuming, say, raw milk. Uh, you can be exposed to a lot of uh, unhealthy bacteria as well as healthy bacteria. But the beauty of the kefir is that because you're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Because you're increasing the bacteria in it by, through the probiotics, you are now balancing out the good and the bad at a more, um, it, it's more safe that way to consume, say, a raw milk when it's in a kefir rather than just purchasing raw milk, although I'm a big advocate of raw milk as well if it works for you. Um, and then again, if you're consuming a raw coconut uh, water, again, because it's not pasteurized, you, don't want, you do not want to consume the store-bought uh, box coconut waters. I won't even mention names. There's tons of them out there, but they're all pasteurized. It's all dead food. So if you're going to consume coconut water, you do want to get the real thing, crack it out of the husk, and drink it that way again you will be exposed to bacterias but those bacterias are healthy bacterias so uh, and then adding the probiotic uh, powder to it and letting it ferment is a beautiful thing now why one would want to consume kefir is basically to repair the gut we all have imbalances in our gut and by consuming kefir on a daily basis you are going to help the uh, the buildup of the ecosystem in the gut so you would now get a balance between good and bad uh, bacteria. But if you're consuming products that are healthy bacteria products like a kefir, but yet you're still consuming a lot of sugar and a lot of starches, well, then you're just going to add in the mix and the, you're really in, not in control of the growth of good to bad bacteria. But if you're on a clean diet and you're not ingesting processed sugars and really close to no grains and you're, and you're ingesting kefir, well, then it's going to actually help the buildup of the healthy bacteria. And that's what we want. Through the fermentation process, you are going to get higher trace amounts of minerals and amino acids, as well as complex B vitamins, particularly B12. So even for vegans out there, um, obviously you're not going to consume the milk uh, line of it, but if you're going to consume the coconut kefir-esque side of it, then at least you're getting a good uh, source of B12 and just complex B vitamins as well, which as we know, uh, you know plant-based diets tend to lack in that a little bit but not too crazy. So for all the vegans out there, keep doing you if it's working for you. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you're looking to repair your gut and uh, instill vitality in your gut, then incorporating kefir is a great way. Like I myself love kefir because I've always loved yogurt as, as a kid growing up. And I would never touch store-bought yogurt with a 10-foot pole because it's crap. There's a little sugar added to it. And all of it is pasteurized. Even if it's plain, it's all pasteurized. So when it's exposed to that heat, again, as we know, that heat works as chemotherapy. It kills the bad, but it also kills the good. So there's really nothing beneficial from store-bought yogurt except for the probiotic powder that they add to it. But why not get the real thing? So again, if you guys have not clicked the subscription button here on YouTube, please do so. You can find me on my website, franktortorici.com. Post comments, shoot me emails. And again, for my California people out there, 
Uh, you can find this in mom and pop health food stores and even sprout markets, but Whole Foods does not carry organic pastures anymore. If you're on the East Coast or anywhere else through the country, um, making your own or getting coconut kefir, raw coconut kefir is the way to go. Thanks for your time. Peace and love.